Hey, boys and girls. Uh, this week for Kerry Coaching and Games, we're going to bring you a few different other um, games that we can incorporate to improve some of our movement skills. So the skills we're going to look at this week will be your sidestep, and once again, looking at brace or progressing brace movement as well. Um, basically, we'll run through a warm-up, do a few of your random movements. So take, take your favorite animals again, we'll incorporate them, and then we'll go into three games that we can do that's incorporating our movement skill. So just again, I suppose to hammer home the point, your movement skills are important because they get you in the position to do your sports skills, okay? So it's important to practice your movement skill as, as it is to practice your sports skill, okay? So again, it's warmed up. And what we're going to do, again, think of your favorite animal, what movements you want to do. And that's what we'll incorporate for each one of our uh, crawling movements. So the first one here, I'm going to call it our three-legged cat. So when you're in your position of on fours, as you can see, I have my two legs, two hands on the floor. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take one leg and I'm going to place it on top of the other one. Okay, so I'm up, I have three, so my two hands and one leg on the floor now. So my three-legged cat, and we're going to move to the side. Just your whole way over now. Nice little hop. And then we're going to go all the way back as well. Okay, so we're staying on the one leg. Just your whole way with this leg. Okay, good. Now, from there, we want to go for our crab. And for our crab, we just want to lift our hips nice and high here, and you're walking yourself on, okay? Keeping your toes up, keep your hips as high as you can, and you're just walking over, and then we have to reverse it all the way back, but keeping ourselves as stable as we can, okay? From there, then, we have our kangaroo, okay? So think of your kangaroo. We're going to move to the side once again. We're on your tippy toes here on this one, touching your hands off the floor. And just a quick little hop and jump. And just going all, all the way back for that one then again. Nice one. Now, back into your crab. And for your last one now, moving to the side again. Or into your octopus, sorry, like to call this one. So you're moving to the side again, taking your steps, and then you go all the way back. So you're like an octopus. We're shuffling to the side, keeping your hips up nice and high. Now, finish it all up, in. Last one, back on your three legs. Uh, toes on, and basically, you're just going to come, shuffle yourself forward, and then all the way back in reverse as well. Mighty challenge in that one. Now, so, well done on that, guys. That should be us warmed up. And what we're going to go into now is a game I'd like to call Rubik's Cube, okay? So what I want you to do, before you go any further, is to go around the house, or sorry, go to your bag, get a piece of paper. I have paper plates in this instance. If you don't have paper plates, you can get a sheet of paper. Two sheets of paper. We can paint or we can color them with pencils, whatever works for you. And what I want you to do is to color up 16 of four different colors. So what I have here is four of your favorite colors even. So I have a green, I have a yellow, I have a red, I have a blue, okay? For my demo here, guys, I'm just gonna go with eight different colors in my instance. But what I want you to do is I want you to go with 16 in total, okay? And you're gonna come, when you get them all colored in and ready, you're gonna bring them back, we're going to place them on the floor randomly then like that. Again, I stress that you're going to have 16, so you're going to have, have more movements. Just for the demo, I want to use eight, so it'll be a little bit faster that we can get through it, okay? Now, what I want you to do with this one, so if we think we have a Rubik's Cube, the goal here, guys, is to have two plates side by side the same color. So what we want to finish up with is a red, blue, or green, and our yellow. That's what we want to finish up with our four in a row, your whole way up along, okay? But before we can do that, there's only one way that we can move, okay? And you can only move the two plates that are beside each other, okay? So in other words, in your block of four, you can only come this way or that way with your plates, okay? So you're moving them in your block of four the whole time through. The way we're going to run at this game is, if you're on your own, you don't have anyone with you, we're going to incorporate a skill as well, if you have a ball handy. So what I want you to do, we're going to do two movements. Okay, move the plates twice, and then we're going to do a skill, 
Okay, you decide on the skill. So say it's only four reps, so it could be a solo. Say four times, you go twice off the right side, twice off the left side, you drop the ball, you move your plates again, you're back out, you do a skill. You might do bounces next to it. If you're allowed, you might do a hand pass off the wall, whatever works for you at home. If you have siblings, you can race against each other. Okay, and you can solve the rule as cube the fastest. All right. So I'm just going to run through it once with you, just so you have an idea of how the game goes. Okay. So I'm going to count in to say three, two, one, and as quick as I can. So I'm just going to move my plates as fast as I can now, just on each one. And then I get out, I'm going to do my two, my four skills. I did my two movements there. So I just do my four skills. I drop my ball down. I'm back in it again. So I have to move my plates the whole way. Just move them around. And I started. I got it done in that one. So quickly through. Next time, I might do four. So bounce, bounce. Yeah, it was done. Okay. So that was very quick, one, guys. I mixed up a small bit more so you kind of get an idea. You're just moving the plates around the suit. So you can challenge yourself with each one in as well. Okay. So we're just going to repeat it through once more again now. And the goal here, as I said, as fast as you can. Start your Rubik's Cube out. You incorporate any skill, two side skill now. So you can be all solos and be all box. So, ready and you say three, two, one, and away we go. So, we're going to move twice just so we're getting ourselves set up on this one then. Okay? So, then we have two moves in, we've got to practice the skill. So, we're going to go solo on this side. But twice on my right side, twice on my left side, drop my ball down. Okay? So, I have to switch myself around then again. Straight out, it's going to go solo. Okay, so two left, two right. I'm using the space that I have here, and I'm back down in again. Okay, so I'm uh, a little bit better there now. Okay, so quickly switching them in as we're going. Quickly out again, got to pick up my ball now. So, you know, it's good. So, I'm just practicing, and I have to get back here. I have to be quick on my feet. So, what way am I going to fix my feet for this one? Excellent. Quickly switching now. I've got my two solos. How quick can I get through them? So I'm going twice my right, twice my left. Remember, it's important to practice on both sides. Go for this one. All we're going to do is switch and switch. Game is done. So I have my colors done. So what I want you to do, guys, that's short. It's only with eight plates, eight pages. I want you to go to 16. Maybe a little bit longer and challenge yourself. As we know, Everyone likes a challenge. So, you want to get a quick sip of water off that one, guys? You can. And we go into our next little game that we're going to do. Just going to get ourselves set up here now. So, just for your next one, we're going to look at going and practicing with our breaks. So, there, we're just getting you thinking on your feet and bringing our sports skill into it as well. Now, for our next one, we had last week or over the last two weeks. Ways that we can progress breaks or think of it as, as a core exercise. So for this week, we're going to challenge you. And again, we're going to make it a race. So for this one, on the way down, I'm making a circle with my right hand. So in other words, I'm going to roll the ball around with my right hand. And then I'm going to switch onto my next one, roll the ball with my right hand and switch. Okay, so it's all right hand. As I'm going to my right side, as I go back to my left side, it's going to be all left hand, and I'm going to go around the world as I call. Okay, so once again, I'm up into my push up position here in my brace position of holding everything nice and strong. And then in three, two, one, just stay so quick as I can. I'm just going to roll my ball around, then it's going to bring the ball down as I step onto my next step. I brace myself, get myself in position, make my circle, and then I'm going to roll onto my next one, make my circle the whole way back. And now I'm going to race all the way up. The stuff, so as it's left hand this side, I'm going to roll the ball around with my left hand, bring it with my right, get myself set up quick as I can, and done. Now, take a quick breather, guys. So, quick and easy on that one. We're going to go once again, just so we can run through it so you kind of have an idea what to do. But with this one, we can add as many as we want in, okay? So, you can go a little bit longer with your plates. Or you can keep them, or with your sheets, you can keep them a little bit closer so you can see like three in this instance. Okay, you can add a fourth, you can add a fifth. 
if needs be. So for this one, that time we just use one hand making the circle. So we're going to challenge you. I want you to use two hands. So you're going to go twice and once on your right and once on your left, and then quickly switch to the next one. Do your circle, do your circle, switch and move up and down. Okay. Let's see how fast you can do then. That's the goal here, trying to get this done as quick as you can. Okay. So in position, holding your position. So three, say two, say one. Quick circle with that right side. Then we're going to switch and hold. You're going to go with your left side. You're going to swap. Get onto your next plate. You're going to go right hand, the whole way around. Keep going the same direction now. Okay. So I've got my left hand the whole way. Quickly onto my next plate, making my circle. Quickly swap. I'm all the way back now. So moving my ball on again. Now, have it with one hand to hold me around as fast as I can. Same direction, go around once more. Move the ball on to the next one. All around with one hand, all around the second, and all done. So that was a quick little game, guys, so we can incorporate our brace. So our brace is developing core strength. It's your stack block, it's your introductory, where we can progress that on. Okay? As you get stronger in that, or as you get older in that, you'll be doing a lot more kind of advanced exercises as you're going, as you can see, for incorporating the ball. It doesn't have to be a small one. You can use a bigger one, like I had previously, which should be a little bit easier. So the ball is bigger, so it's easier to move. So try and go as small as you can with the football or the ball that you have access to for that one. If you don't have a ball, it's very easy to use a pair of socks as well. I think it's important just to, to mention that. Okay. So next set one that we do, guys, is going to be called, it's called transfer. Okay. So this is it. A movement skill is sidestep. Okay. So for this guy, again, you can use the same thing. It doesn't have to be. You can use any object. You can use socks. You can use shoes. Whatever you want to do. All you want to do is put them at one side of the room that you're using. And we're going to go as fast as we can. So for our side step, things we look for, okay? One of the most important elements is that the feet are roughly shoulder width. Okay, we're not in like this. Okay, you want to get that wide base. So if you remember back when we're doing landing and jumping, athletic base position applies into your side step. Okay, you don't cross the feet. Don't want to see that happening yet. Okay, so you're in your position, you push and you switch. So you try to keep your feet as wide as you can. Okay, we're up on our toes. So you see from the side here, yeah? you're up on your tippy toes, so you're that little bit lighter as it goes back here, okay? So when you're stepping, you're on your 50 toes when we're doing so, okay? Uh, I think you're very excited. Your base position is always, we've got hips are back behind the heels, head chest looking forward, up in that position, okay? We're that little bit low, we're stronger when we're lower as opposed to being up here, we will easily fall back. So for this little game, just to start with, we're going to have as fast as we can, that's it, it's transfer. So how quick can I get? My five objects from this side to that side. Okay, that's the goal. So I want you to race me on this one. So you have yourself set up, you have your five objects set up, ready to go as soon as I am. Okay, so we we'll get you in position, you're ready, you're set, your feet are moving, three, two, one, and go. So you're dropping down and quickly over, just drop and switch. Hey, quickly back then again, swap over. So don't drop it like I did. Okay, staying low is your key. Then. So when you get low, you can push on out to get yourself back to that side of the room as fast as you can. Okay, well done. Now, so that was five. Very fast. Very easy to get through it. Well done if you beat me. And all I want you to do is reset. And we're going to introduce the ball now. So again, trying to incorporate a skill um, within your games as well. Okay, so at least you want to, that is. So, for this one, I'm going to work on my solo again. Okay, so we need to practice my solo. We know the three things drop, tap, catch. Same hand, same leg. So you always have a free hand as well, which is important. Okay, so for this one, every time before I move, I have to do my skill. Okay, so just say I come all the way here, I do my skill, take my plate, I'm over. I drop my plate, do my skill, I'm back. Skill, get my plate, I shuffle, drop. My goal. Okay, so I have to I have to do a skill before I move to the other side of the room. Again, straightforward enough for this, you guys. The goal is to move the plates or the objects from one side of the room to the other 
as fast as you can. Okay. So you're going to try and beat me again. All right. So we're ready in our spot. If you have a ball well and good, if not, it's fine. You can use a pair of socks even to practice in your, your solo win as well. Okay. So ready in three, two, and go. So get your solo. Left, get your side set. So before I got over, I had to get my solo. I'm getting my side set back. And drop. Always get my solo with now each side as you go. And just before we kind of finish with the feet, though, props, keep yourself moving as you do. And that's it. Keep going forward. Quickly switch. Start there. Well done. That's just the way, guys. You can incorporate your side set for the little game and then introduce the ball. Okay. Just for now, it's just about getting you moving. Okay. You explore the movement and find what works for you. Just the three things. I suppose it's conscious to be aware of, don't cross your feet, okay? So when, when you're stepping, that you're not crossing your legs, always up on your tippy toes, you're nice and springy, okay? I'm trying to keep the feet roughly shoulders, okay? For now, just explore the move, have fun with it, just do it, okay? As you get older, things get a little bit more technical, all right? You don't need to worry about that for now. So, last little game we do, guys, is a mirror movement, okay? So we just practiced our side step in a little game. Remember our three things again, shoulder width, we're not crossing the feet, we're staying on our tippy toes, okay? So all the principles apply in this game, and it's called mirror, mirror, okay? So I'm just gonna run it for 10 seconds at a time. And what I want you to do is basically mirror my movements, okay? So I'm gonna start in the middle here. I'm gonna to switch to my left, and I'm gonna to switch to my right, and you're copying me, okay? So you're mirroring my movement as I do. Staying with me as you step, and that's what we do for 10 seconds. My goal is to lose you okay, within this, that time frame. Okay, so you have to stay with me, and I'll show you a progression that you can do in a second with it. Okay, so just for 10 seconds, it's quick, it's snappy, it's just to get you moving pretty much. That's all we're looking to do. So, ready in your position. So, you got three, you got two, and go. So, you're just quick, quickly stepping. So, just staying with me. So, you do, you're mirroring the movement that I'm doing here now. Excellent job. We have three, we have two. Well done, super. Okay, quick 10 seconds, take a breather. Get yourself a sip of water. I'm just gonna repeat that one again. I'll show you the progression after that, okay? So once again, remember our three things. We wanna try and keep that athletic base position. Strong was early. I suppose that's the kind of the reasoning behind it. As opposed to being inside here, we're taking our steps. That's not what we're looking for, okay? So, to get you going, guys. Five seconds so Again, you have to try and stay with me. I'm trying to lose you in this one. So three, two, go. So that's it. Excellent. Don't cross the feet. Just keep yourself. You're quickly stepping. <laughs> now, five seconds left. Well done. Three, two. Nice one. Well done. Good job, guys. That was excellent. Seeing you keep up me there. Super. Now, just to add progression into that, two little things we can do. So first one, we're always going to introduce our ball. We like to have the ball in the ball um, in as many, how would you say, as many activities as possible, okay? So this time, just with the ball involved, we're just going to take our set when we're doing our skill at the side, okay? So it's like you're trying to lose your man or lose your person for that 10 seconds, okay? Just introduce the ball quickly, just so you see you have an idea. Something you can do yourself. I'll show you one more little quick activity at the end of that one. Okay, so we're in our position. 10 seconds now. Remember, you have to take your play as well. So you have three, you have two, and go. So you'll get yourself quickly over. Well done. You just get your, get your little jigs to keep your side set at the point. You're using your both legs as you do. Okay, you got three, you got two. Nice one. Now, just the way you can introduce your ball, you're getting your little jink as well as you go. Quick breather, last little activity. Okay, we're on our spot here. I'm going to count you in. Three, two, one, go. Again, it's a mirror movement, but you're doing the opposite to what I do. So, if I run towards the screen, you're going to reverse. When I back pedal from the screen, you come forward. When I go to my right side, you have to go to your left. When I go to my left side, you go to your right side. Okay, so you're going the opposite to what I'm doing here. Okay, again, you're reacting. You're, I'm not going to tell you. You have to react to how I move, okay? So I'll just repeat that through again. When I go forward, you reverse. When I reverse, you go forward. When I go to my right, 
you're going to go to your left. When I go to my left, you're going to go to your right. Okay, so you're going the opposite to me with each one. All right. Again, it's just going to be a very quick 10 seconds here, just so you get an idea. So we're going to go, say, three, say, two, say, one, and go. So I went forward, I'm back. So I'm just trying to lose you, okay? Remember, you're going the opposite to what I do here. So just keep your feet moving. That's excellent. You're staying with me. Well done. Go back in your middle. Good. You might do me there. So that's five seconds left. Keep your feet moving again. Super. For three, for two. Nice and nice. Well done. So again, that was just a little way to work on dodge. I should have said that earlier there as well. We were working on sidestep and dodge. Your last drills where you're doing the mirror movements, you were looking at dodge. Okay, so dodge is when you're trying to obviously dodge around. So where they come into purpose in our in our sport or in our game is more or less agility. So I think when if you're a forward, there's a back in front of you, it's you turning to get around. Get your top, get your solo. Or in the instance, if you're a back, the forward is getting away from you, you're following him, you're mirroring his movement. And obviously you're trying to close the space between you. The closer you are to him, the better, okay? So that was our quick run through, guys. Some games you can do incorporate the side set, dodge and brace. Incorporate some sports skills. And that is, yeah, that's us for now, guys. So, Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got something from it and take it easy.